giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First Updates Now FTC is produced in partnership with the Orange Alliance. Now FTC is a platform to keep up to date on live and archive first tech challenge events and team stats at theorangealliance.org. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Hello and welcome to the FTC Recap Road to the Detroit Championship. This group of recaps is all about covering events and regions that will lead to the Detroit Championship as displayed by the first championship map. I'm Ashray. If you have any questions that you would like to be read during the show, please tag at First Updates Now and type your question into the chat. We also will have a straw poll on the screen of what you guys think of Skystone so far. I'm Ishan. I'm Rithish. And I'm Jack. Um... If you're watching uh, on Twitch, we've got three giveaways this evening. Uh, Tyler, could you talk to us about our first giveaway? All right. It's going to be fun times tonight, guys. A lot of weird stuff with OBS going on with the new update, so sorry about that. Um, so with that said, we uh, are going to be giving away from our friends at Go build a, um, a uh, 2000 series dual uh, servo. Uh, dual mode servo that's what it's officially called so uh you guys we were just talking off stream about this about sword drive a little bit on ftc bots and this might be your ticket guys it's essentially off season now right sorry suspended season <laughs> quote unquote um so this is a great opportunity for you to get some cool swag test it out on your uh bots and see what actually works right so if you have an opportunity you know obviously hopefully you win it right but if not Go to Go Build Up, go check this out, uh, and consider it for your bot. I'd love to see more sword drives in FTC. I think that'd be really awesome to see. I know everybody goes Mechanum, uh, but I think there could be some really interesting opportunities, especially with this application as well. So we'll have a keyword a little bit later on during the show uh, for you to win. Don't forget, subs get five times luck. And if you join Fun Nation, lots of great benefits, including uh, skipping those annoying Twitch pre-roll ads that always air if you're watching live that we can't do anything about. Sorry about that. Um, and as well as if you are in our Discord, there's a secret channel where all the giveaways that aren't claimed go in there. So hopefully you join us with that. Keep fun, loud, loud, and independent, and with some awesome swag. And so enjoy the show, everybody. All right, to start off, we're going to start off with my favorite state, Virginia. Uh, since our last recap, the only event in Virginia was the state championship, which had tons of powerhouse teams. Throughout the day, teams like 8221 Cubics, 4634 Fogpots Purple, and 6010 Thunderstone proved to be really strong competitors on the field, putting up really high numbers into the hundreds. Alliance selection was also a little unexpected with two teams that went 0-5 getting selected into, into really strong alliances. Cubix and their really strong delivery partners, 6931 Brainstem and 11112 Robolords, ended up taking three matches against 6010 Thunderstone, 4634 Fogbots Purple, and 10515 Extreme Voltage uh, in the grand finals between the two divisions. And Cubix ended up winning uh, the competition after three matches. Uh, getting high scores of up to 154 and 148 against each other. Uh, in fact, MASH 3, which is uh, playing right now, I believe, uh, is where 6010, uh, my, our alliance partner, uh, got disabled, and Cubix and Brainstem together ended up making a 12-tall double cap tower, which got really, really close to a world record. Uh, oddly enough, all three of the teams that, were, uh, that won the Inspire Award were out-of-state teams, uh, including 8719 Quantum Leap from Ohio, 6931 Brainstem from Pennsylvania and 9794 Wizards.exe from Maryland. Uh, also, of the eight teams that advanced, half of them were out of state teams. It's kind of weird. Uh, next up, we have Iowa. Iowa, as expected, was a really competitive region. Since our last recap, Iowa had, the, had their last two super qualifiers, Lamars and Iowa City. At Lamars, uh, both 7236 Recharged Green and 9052 Recharged Orange went undefeated through qualification matches. We also got a good look at Recharge Green and 11316 Weapons of Mass Construction, and both those teams have been really strong historically um, in the past in the past few years. Uh, they went together through the finals and won the competition along with their second pick, 11222 Trojan Terabytes. Next up is Iowa City, uh, where 8588 Finger Puppet Mafia and 8813 The Winter Soldiers ended up going undefeated through qualification matches. 
uh, the finger puppet mafia uh, chose 4177 finger titans and 6458 the berg bots and they went undefeated through elimination matches and ended up winning the um, ended up defeating the winter soldiers and their alliance partners in the finals uh, finally in Iowa we had their long awaited state championship uh, where in the gold division we saw the first time all season where 7236 recharge green and 10435 the circuit breakers played together both those teams have been on our top 25 stay tuned for that later uh, all season and have consistently been among the top of any leaderboard all season long uh, luckily they both were in the same division and they both went undefeated with recharge green in first place they selected circuit breakers and the 4177 the finger titans who together went undefeated throughout the rest of the day and put up some crazy scores on the board, inc including the current world record of 166. Over in the black division, we saw really weird elimination matches with 9967 Avengers Tech and 9978 geared up, both going undefeated through qualification matches uh, to and choosing their alliances. Throughout the semifinal matches, there were some crazy upsets with the fourth seed beating the first seed and the third seed beating the second seed. Then in finals, the fourth seed beat the third seed alliance, resulting in the fourth seed from the black division going into the first seed from the gold division, where Recharge Green, Circuit Breakers, and the Finger Titans ended up winning the competition. Congrats also to 8813, the Winter Soldiers, for winning the Inspire Award again in Iowa. It seems like the Ohio State Championship was canceled, which is a little unfortunate because we saw some really amazing teams earlier in the season that probably would have put up some really high scores. Looking at the qualifiers that were, took place earlier, we saw teams like 11095 Loose Screws, 8719 Quantum Leap, and 17508 Rising Taw, and 14320 The Antinote, who would have showed off some really awesome robots and stacked some really tall skyscrapers. Hopefully these teams have a chance to represent Ohio and show off the robots at some cool Austin events. Definitely. Okay, uh, with that, I guess we'll move on to New Hampshire. So, the New Hampshire State Tournament was back in February February 16th and featured powerhouse team 11115 gluten free who went undefeated in qualification matches with a whopping non penalty OPR of 115.8 which now that the season's kind of over is will and will be the world record for Skystone uh, for OPR so great job to them uh, after qualifications they were ranked number 1 and picked teams 15772 Brady Goats and 7804 TIE Fighters. Gluten Free ended the day as winning Alliance Captain and Control Award winner. Congratulations also to the Brady Goats for winning the Inspire Award. Uh, so, while we never got to see them at Worlds, Gluten Free ended up going, I think, 36-0-0. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm not going to say who I think is the best team <laughs> in the world, but I think that's uh, I, th I think there's a lot going for them. Uh, <laughs> And so, uh, a couple days ago, uh, they will have their r robot reveal, which I think many people in the FTC community have seen, but it's the only time we've seen a six-stone auto. And I think the way they did that was fantastic, using yeah. a combination of a claw and the intake. We've seen, so far this season, teams are either going one, one way or the other, but they did both, which... which getting some of their sky stones out of the path basically makes two separate... Uh, groups of sky stones. So if you hit one, you're only affecting one other, which was kind of a problem with the uh, with the robots who use their intake. Uh, so fantastic, not necessarily unexpected, uh, yeah. but just it's great that we got to see that. Um, even though we you know, we're not gonna get to see him in action at states uh, worlds, excuse me. But you know, hey, MTI is as far as I know is still on. <laughs> uh, Likely they will be at MTI from what yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. and. Knowing them, they're going to come out with something even better than a six stone auto. So, <laughs> six so yeah. stack. Um, speaking of the reveal, we've got reveal night coming up. So make sure to stay until the end. We're going to make this huge. Make sure to come for reveal night. We've got front page on Twitch. Uh, we're really trying to make this big. Teams all around the world. Um, and we'll put up a submission link later. Mm -hmm. All right, so moving on to Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota is actually one of the first states to have their state championship back on February 8th and was divided into the Galaxy and Nano divisions, with each division being dominated by one powerhouse team, each of which went on to be ranked number one and the winning alliance captain for their division. In the Nano division, it was team 94. 
9415 Wrench Dressing, love the name. And in the Galaxy Division, it was Team 3763 Piece of Cake. Uh, in the finals, the event finals, the Galaxy Division won the first match and the Nano Division won the second, all leading to a riveting finals three match with the Alliance from the Galaxy Division barely edging out the Alliance from the Nano Division with a final score of 124 to 111. Uh, congratulations to Team uh, 3763, 10273, and 10272 uh, for being the winning alliance, and congr- congratulations to Team 9972 Iron Gears for winning the Inspire Award. Uh, so for Romania, unfortunately, their championship was one of the ones canceled due to the coronavirus. There were two teams that everyone was really excited to see, which was 14270 Quantum Robotics and 5843 Auto Vortex, both out of Bucharest, Romania. Um, they both have really impressive showings this year, and it's really unfortunate we didn't get to see them at their uh, national championship and we won't get to see him at the world championship. However, uh, Quantum Robotics did make the hike to MTI last year, so also on the table. Uh, it'd be great the to Auto see Vortex it. did as well last year. Yeah. As well. oh, okay. So uh, hopefully both of them can make it out again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be fantastic. Having international representation at MTI, I think, is super awesome. Um, and speaking of international competitions, we've got Israel. They actually did have their... Uh, were able to have their national championship before the coronavirus pandemic slipped through. Uh, had in late February, and it was actually a really competitive competition. Uh, they had two divisions, and the 45 teams competed, and only one went undefeated through qualification matches. They had six qualification matches for every team, uh, so that does kind of lend itself to more competitive play, but only one went undefeated. Uh, so that team was Team 11823, so congratulations for being the only undefeated team for qual- through qualifications. Uh, unfortunately for them, their number one alliance got taken out by the number four ranked alliance of their division in two matches. Uh, now th- uh, after uh, their partner DC in the first match and in semis one match two, uh, the fourth seed alliance just played spectacularly, showing a lot of really good cohesion. Uh, so just really, really exciting. So really congratulations to that number four seeded alliance who actually ended up to go to win the entire competition, uh, which is pretty unusual for a fourth seed. So uh, congratulations to the alliance captained by team 15637 Fata Morgana. Um also, a huge shout out to Team 11056, the Ybot, for winning the Israel Inspire Award. Now, they also had a fantastic robot. They didn't end up going to winning the competition, uh, but they used a bunch of uh, custom parts, laser to cut and CNC, and just to make a really, really fantastic robot. Uh, they also do a lot with outre- uh, outreach, reaching out to uh, other teams in their area and worldwide. Uh, so, really great job to them for for winning their Inspire Award. <sighs> Moving on to Massachusetts, which was actually one of the last states to have their championship before you know everything fell apart uh, on March 7th. And so we got to see Team 8644 Brainstormers just dominate the competition uh, with a four-stone auto and a couple of 11 tall skyscrapers. The Brainstormers really lived up to their reputation of domination. They would finish the day ranked first with an OPR of 102.1, which is the second highest in the world behind Gluten Free. Uh, they go on to partner with Team 14039 Irrational and 14079 Attic Fanatics for an all-Lexington alliance. Congratulations to 8644 for winning their state championship for the fifth year in a row, and to Team 6055 Geartex for winning the Inspire Award. Uh, 8644 also posted a video recently displaying their robot's progression from September to early March when they had the Massachusetts State Championship. They did something similar last year, but it's a really great video. It shows a lot about their team, and I personally would recommend it for any uh, any team, particularly for uh, uh, rookie teams or less experienced teams, looking to get an idea of how really successful teams build, operate, and iterate. Uh, just a really great indicator. Uh, and finally, I'm going to talk about Vermont, uh, which saw a lot of teams come from out of state to put on a huge show. Um, does Vermont still do qualifiers? I know in the past, I think they've been just an open state, no qualifiers. Is I that- think they're just a state. Okay, so they're just a yeah. state. So uh, in the past, I know Gluten Free and Brainstormers have gone there, and we've seen some pretty cool matches at Vermont. Um, but so the 8644 was there, 15772 Brady Goats, and 7418 Batteries not included put out some really high scores. Uh, going into eliminations, 8644 and 9867 Evolution Robotics and 11251 Lexington Lego Heads lost to the number two seed alliance consisting of 15772, 701 The Gong Squad, and 7078 
overly complex. The highest score in those finals matches was 112 and finals two, a well-deserved victory for the second seeded alliance. The Inspire Award winners, 11251 Lexington Lego Heads, did a great job. Uh, and just congratulations to all the teams who participated at the Vermont Championship. Yeah, awesome. So let's go ahead and begin our first giveaway. I know we asked in the chat um, about whether we think we should have a go chair. So I think it would be fitting if the keyword for our giveaway would be go chair. Tyler, could you talk about that? Yeah, we can do go chair. That's fine. So uh, so we'll do one word. Go chair uh, is what it will be. Type it in chat so everybody knows that. Uh, so uh, once again, the uh, 2000 series dual mode servo is what's going to be given away so type in go chair type as much as you want you only get one entry unless you are a subscriber which will get five entries automatically for you as long as you type in the keyword don't forget you do need to be following the channel in order to have an opportunity to win we'll draw for that in just uh, a little bit later on during the show awesome so now we're going to jump into Maryland, and the Maryland State Championship was on March fourth, uh, Mar- March first at the Carroll County Agricultural Center. There were fifty-two teams competing for six advancement slots. Uh, the Calhurt Division was one of the divisions, and the most notable teams there were teams eight two two one Cubics, uh, who went undefeated along with Team one four six zero seven Robot Uprising. Um, Robot Uprising took the number one seed due to tiebreaker points, um, and then alliance selection got a little bit weird. Um, from what I heard, Cubix and Robot Uprising were supposed to get together, but then there was some miscommunication, um, and Cubix ended up declining Robot Uprising's invitation. So Robot Uprising ended up going with Team A297 Geared Up, and Cubix ended up picking Team 10515 Extreme Voltage. Uh, Cubix ended up winning the CalHurt division, even after tying one of their semifinal matches. Uh, they didn't take a single loss throughout their finals run. Um, in the Collins Aerospace Division, local team Virus, team eight, 9866, and Ohio uh, team 8719, Quantum Leap, went undefeated with Virus taking the number one seed. Um, Virus ended up picking team 12518, Almond Robotics, due to their consistent auto, and Quantum Leap went with team 9794, Wizard Study XC. Our Autonomous just wasn't consistent, so Quantum Leap's alliance just wasn't able to come up um, against the number one alliance um and so there were also a lot of disconnects which caused the second pick of quantum leaps alliance robocavs gold to play many matches uh there were some technicalities even though there was like a 10 skyscraper built um some teams ended up touching that skyscraper so it didn't count at all um but in finals match two the number one alliance ended up taking it after a knocked over skyscraper um which put uh, virus and almond robotics up against cubix and uh, extreme voltage and so in the event finals cubix four stone auto was impressive and they were also able to stack to heights that led their alliance to win the competition uh, for awards the inspire award was given to team a297 geared up second place was a221 cubix and third place was team 10464 the bionic tigers um, now we're going to shift over into Delaware. Uh, throughout the season, Delaware hosts meets where teams play, but they don't really count for anything. So they're like unofficial practice matches in order to help boost the teams in that area. Uh, you have to play in two of these meets and be within 10 miles of the border of Delaware to play at their state championship. <laughs> but unfortunately, their state championship was uh, canceled due to, um, or it was postponed to an undetermined date due to coronavirus. <laughs> 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 This year, uh, the Wisconsin championship looked very different than what we're used to. Um, we've seen teams like Crack and Pinion, Swizzle Thumbs, and the Knack uh, all been in the top, but Crack and Pinion was ranked sixth with only three wins. The Swizzle Thumbs, 24th with only one win. And the Knack has left FTC to pursue FRC. They actually won um, Rookie All Star at one of their events. Shout out to the Knack. Um, but so the real star of the show was Team 101. 10100 Phoenix Force. Uh, they snuck into Elims last year at the Wisconsin Championship, but they they were the powerhouse here. They ended up picking Crack and Pinion um, and the Lake Country School team and put on a great show that ended with a big win. Um, you can actually check out Crack and Pinions behind the bot on our YouTube channel um, and Phoenix Forces. Uh, yeah, Phoenix Forces. Uh, behind the bot is also up there so make sure to check those out on the first updates now youtube channel so congratulations phoenix force and their alliance as well as team 4106 the supposable thumbs who were the winners of the inspire award 
So Indiana, I'd love to tell you about the state championship, but it didn't happen. But they have something <laughs> called semi states. Um, they they had an Indiana semi states. So you may recognize team. Uh, one two two three one Warrior Tech. Uh, they were partnered with Crack and Pinion at Worlds last year, uh, and they nearly ended up on Ford Field. Uh, this year, they were the captain of the third alliance at the Semi States, and they had the highest OPR of any alliance captain. Their first clever pick was Team Nine Eight Six Four Jug Rocks Robotics. Had a higher OPR than most of the other uh, eliminations, uh, other teams in eliminations too. Because of their scouting, they pulled off two upset wins for the big win. Two other robots who were particularly notable were 8417 Electric Legends and Team 12835 Pixelated, who teamed up at the Kentucky State Championship one week later, one week later to beat out Jug Rocks Robotics. Uh, congratulations to Warrior Tech and their alliance on an impressive showing, and congratulations to the Inspire Award winner, Team 13034 Rocks Robotics. Now we're going to talk about Illinois, and Illinois had a very exciting state championship near the end of February. Rankings were going all around the place all day in both divisions, with Team 10635 Unknown Element rising to the number one spot in the Solomon division. In the Cooper division, there were three teams that went 5-0, and Team 3216 Robofins, Team 14615 Turbocharge, and Team 11392 Defenestration. Uh, in the Solomon division, Unknown Element picked number two ranked team 3507 Robotheosis and the 11th, team, uh, 11th ranked team 6199 Trial and Terror to join their alliance. These three teams made quick work of the division and won it easily. In the Cooper division, the number one ranked team Robofins picked the number six ranked team 6200 for your fish project and the 11th ranked team 6. 595 Robotic Rams to join their alliance. The number two ranked team, 14615 Turbocharge, picked the 17th ranked team, 15118 Cobb Champ, and the seventh, uh, and then the seventh team, 12628, the Golden Ratio, to join their alliance. The number one and number two alliances won the semifinals and then faced off where Turbocharge and their alliance, the number two alliance, took victory in all three matches, in three matches. Um, the finals for the state championship were quite intense. I got, I watched this one, and I was watching it live, and it was close how much it was going back and forth. Um, the number one alliance of one zero six three five unknown element three five zero seven robotheosis and six one nine nine took the championship in three matches, narrowly winning the third match one twenty to one nineteen, um, <laughs> and you could see that it like. Throughout the match, I had no idea who was going to win. No towers were knocked over. Auto was super close. Um, so it was a pretty intense and exciting match. Um, additionally, congratulations to Inspire Award Team 7129, the Robo Raiders. All right. So next up, we have New Jersey, where we had two more qualifying events in February since the last recap. Uh, halfway through February, we had the Robo Harvest League Tournament. At this event, we saw some amazing scores even well into the hundreds. The number one seed, 14039 Irrational, who did not lose a single match during the qualification matches, chose the number 16 seed, Mad Robotics. They worked very well together in the elimination matches and did not end up losing a single elimination match, scoring as high as 132. Overall, well done to the winning alliance, Irrational, and Mad Robotics, and the first Inspire Award winner, Maelstrom. Just the next day, we had the Robo Ramble League Tournament. At this qualifier, we saw a wide variety of intake systems ranging from a spinning wheel intake to a simple claw. It was amazing to see the winning alliance have a middle school team. Congrats to the winning alliance consisting of Highlanders, Pingree Middle School Robotics, and the first Inspire Award winner, Fembot. Lastly, just this past weekend, the long-awaited New Jersey Championships was scheduled to occur, but due to the recent events with coronavirus, the championship <laughs> was postponed till later. Now, moving into New York, we have three regions. At the end of February, we had the New, New York Exilier Clarkson University Qualifier. At this event, we actually had two teams, Nutjob and Sass Adam, battle out for the spot for the number one seed as they both won five out of five qualification matches. However, Nutjob came out on top as the number one seed as they picked Beta and IR Lightning. Together, the Lions competed very strongly as they never lost an elimination match and even scored as high as 107 in the finals match. 
Great job to this alliance for winning the entire event, and congrats to the first Inspire Award winner, Nutjob, who is also the winning alliance captain. Later in March, the Elixir Region Championship was canceled due to the coronavirus outbreak, just like New Jersey, unfortunately. Now, moving into the New York City region, the New York City Championships just took place last weekend in Flushing. Uh, at this event, the number one seed at the event of the qualification matches, who went undefeated, was 10539 Ultra. They had a really interesting robot where their counter spinning wheel intake was actually on the side of their robot and they were using mechanism wheels. Moreover, they used a claw for their autonomous to pick up the stones, which made their autons very reliable. Congrats to the winning alliance, Ultra, Natural Selection, Quantum Mechanics, and the Inspire Award winner, Gear Masters. Also, there was no, uh, there was no data on the Long Island Championships. Unfortunately, online. But Elon from the Fun Discord told us that the winning alliance consisted of Elon. 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 From the fun... Sorry, Elon from the Fun Dis uh, Fun Discord told us that the winning alliance consisted of SBS Bears, uh, Sioset Syndicate, and Island Bots. And the Inspire Award winner was Digital Darlings. And now moving into Connecticut, we just had the Connecticut State Championships at the end of February. Our number one seed for the day, with five out of five wins during the qualification matches was 16008 Armored Armitmises. Ar I don't know how to say that. Ar Artemisis. Artemisis, that's a hard word. However, <laughs> in an interesting turn of events, the number four alliance with the captain Hopkins Robotics Gray actually ended up beating the number one alliance in the semi-final round, showing an awesome upset. Then in the finals, the number two and the number four alliance faced off. There was some great gameplay between the alliances in feeding the stones and stacking the stones. Both alliances had really similar autons with placing one Skystone on the foundation and moving the foundation. In fact, the teams fought hard into three finals matches. At the end, the number two alliance won with a score of 66 to 64 with just a two point difference. Congrats to the winning alliance, uh, Robo Epic, Techno T-Rexes, Dragonoids, and the first Inspire Award winner, Singularity Technology. Now looking at the great state of Pennsylvania, we see our Detroit World finalists, uh, 8393 Brainstem Robotics team who won the Malconing Valley Qualifier. Another great team from Pennsylvania is 8645, the Robotic Dodges, who won the Blue and White Qualifier and the Frozen Frenzy. They also competed at the Virginia State Champs, but lost in the finals. Already looking like a great season for the Robotic Dodges, they had two second place Inspire Awards and won the Inspire Award at the Frozen Frenzy. The state champs was in the beginning of March and proved to be an amazing illumination round. The winning alliance consisted of 8393 Brainstem Robotics, 7244 Out of the Box Robotics, and 12538 Eborg Robotics. They got to a high score of 156 in the finals. Great job to those teams. The Inspire Award winner from uh, the Pennsylvania state champs went to 12538 Eborg Robotics. Now, moving into Kentucky, uh, the Kentucky State Champs did not disappoint with some big scoring teams like 8417 Electric Legends and 12835 Pixelated, who paired up to win the state championships. The score in the Elims was 110 in finals two, scored by 8417, 12835, and 11081 Spark Robotics, who eventually won the entire event. Our Inspire Award winners was 13034 Rocks Robotics, an amazing team. Uh, congrats to all the teams at the Kentucky State Championships. Uh, we saw some really great gameplay there. Yeah, so since we, ha since we have some time, uh, let's quickly just go over some of our favorite teams from the season that would have competed in Detroit. Uh, what do you guys think? 6931. Tyler, I just dropped a link in the... Um... Show doc, but 6931, uh, the substantial monocephalic brainstem robotics team. Awesome robot. Like, yes. So they, yeah. they completely rebuilt since their qualifiers where they had a lift and everything. Um, but they built a robot about this big, um, probably the second lightest robot I've ever seen behind yeah. um, Rhyme No Reason and Rescue for those of you <laughs> who were around back then. Um, but their robot was like 10 pounds and they flew around the field. Um, yeah. Really cool strategy there. They were pretty much depending on people to pick them, but mm -hmm. uh, it, w it was fun to watch them. Yeah. What about you guys? Yeah. That was, that think... was sort of an interesting strategy that they took being a delivery bot. Uh, they, and like Sean was saying, they were 10 inches like squared, uh, like super tiny robot. And I remember playing against them 
no matter how much you push them around, they would spin around you and grab a stone and deliver it before you could even get your first stone. Like they were crazy fast. So that was a really interesting strategy I saw between picking the hardcore delivery and hardcore stacking. Yeah, one yeah. of the things I found interesting was this world record that happened between uh, circuit breakers and recharge. It wasn't the classic delivery yeah. and feeder strategy. They were building two towers. And so at Worlds, I would be like, if we were to have a Worlds, that's one thing I would be watching for. Do you do the feeder delivery bot or do you decide, let's build two towers, get as many stones on that foundation and hope for the best? Yeah. Yeah, another team that uh, I thought was really impressive uh, that would have went to Detroit was from the Pennsylvania State Championships, the winning alliance captains, uh, 72-44 uh, out-of-the-box robotics. I thought they had a really effective autonomous. Uh, they actually were able to get three blocks, move the foundation, and park with using their intake. And overall, I thought they were really good in... Uh, having another ro uh, robot just kind of feed into their intake system, and they would kind of just be in one spot, really stacking over and over again. Yeah. Cool. Any any other teams that stuck out to you? Uh, I think Gluten Free was kind of okay. Uh, you know, they happened to do pretty well. <laughs> now, they, they had a really amazing robot, and I'm actually really, really surprised that they got that six stone working. Uh, I'm ha I, I really wish you could see them at Worlds get, like, two tower like a three or four tower stack and then two more stones like some crazy auto uh but hey mti so i, th I think the most interesting thing about them is they didn't go with the meta the meta was yeah. build build a linear slides and they went with a double reverse four bar yeah um yeah. so i i thought that was pretty cool um and, yeah go ahead and they really optimized that like the key with their double reverse four bar was that they were really able to optimize it to get super duper fast and reliable uh, one other yeah. thing, if you guys were like watching for it uh, earlier on in the season, their double reverse four bar had somewhat of a bounce, so it wasn't as like fast. Um, but they were able to like minimize that and made that even better. Um, yeah, I think some something I wanted to point out was with that reverse four bar, um, some people were kind of worried about the stability issues. Yeah. And I think they were really able to take care of that while optimizing how fast it was going. Um, so they got stability and really speed and precision all at the same time, which which is why it really worked out uh, really well overall. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So before we roll for our giveaway, uh, we've got to tell you about Reveal Night. So do you want to see your team? Uh, do you want to get your team seen by people around the world? Well, make sure to submit your team's reveal for Reveal Night. We don't care whether you're going to go to the World Championship or we don't care whether you only played one event this year. We want to see your team's reveal on our Reveal Night. So make sure to submit your reveal by April 4th at the link bit.ly slash FTC Reveal Night. It's also in the chat uh, just posted by Tyler. Uh, we're going to be on the front page of Twitch. So everybody around the world is going to be able to see it. It's going to be huge. We've done this for FRC and it's gotten tons of views. So we're trying to make it just as big for FTC. So make sure to get your reveal in by April 4th. That way uh, we can have as many reveals as possible. Anyways, let's go ahead and draw for our giveaway. Tyler, can you please tell us who won? Yeah, give me a second. Sorry about that, guys. If you're watching live, like my keyboard just straight up busted for some reason. So <laughs> don't know what's going on with that. But, you know, thankfully I have a spare apparently. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to be giving away the uh, uh, 2000 series dual mode servo from our friends at Go Build Us. You guys can start your own swerve drive going. The keyword was Go Chair. And let's draw for that winner. It's going to be uh talavani congratulations or talavani uh thank you so much and a subscriber subscribers are on a streak right now guys so you know what that means lots of rigged emotes in chat rigged. uh and make sure you reach out to me on our discord uh or here on twitch shoot me a pm we need all your information that we're shipping you first name last name mailing address city state zip code email all that stuff I know I have to keep saying this, but literally last night, I think two out of three winners asked me what they need to provide me in order to have us send them something. So it's a long running gag, but uh, yeah, guys, you know, like, I, I don't know. Let, let me ask you, the kids these days receive mail. Does yes. that happen? Okay. Uh, too much college things. spam. It's yeah. Yeah. Like, do you ever order anything spam. on Amazon or what? <laughs> it's already got our address in it. But you had to put true. it in at some point. Yeah. Well, that's my oh, guess. Gen Zers, I tell you. So. 
We'll give up all the personal liberties we want and privacy just for convenience. All right, fair enough. <laughs> all right, thank you everyone for all the follows and subscriptions we received today. And don't forget you can subscribe for free if you or your parents have Amazon Prime. We hope you enjoyed this episode of FTC Recap. If you want to stay connected with what Fun FTC is doing, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Fun FTC and join our Discord through the link in the chat. And starting at 8.15 today, we will be doing the FTC South Region Recap, or the Road to Houston Champs. And then starting at 9 today, we will be doing our biggest FTC Top 25 ever. We had over 100 votes cast this week, and so we really want to share what you guys voted for and who you guys thought were the best teams. On behalf of myself, Ashre, Ritesh, Jack, and our producer, Tyler, working behind the scenes, I'd like to thank you guys all for tuning in. Want to see your Skystone robot on the front page of Twitch? Submit your end of the year reveal video to FTC Reveal Night by Saturday, April 4th to be shown on Wednesday, April 8th. Go to tinyurl.com forward slash Skystone Reveal to submit your video. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.